is Stacey Vernon. I'm head of adult assessment here at the Center for Brain Health. I'm also a coach and support and train other coaches with the Brain Health Project. Hi, I'm Anne Marie Levinson, and I am a principal on the research and design team at Dialexa, and I was a design lead on the Brain Health Project. I have a couple surprising things. Um, one of them, and I have talked about this a little bit, is just um, when we were diving into all of the curriculum at first, just the amount of information that we were going to need to um, communicate to participants throughout their interaction with the Brain Health Project. And so that was a little bit intimidating um, from a user experience design perspective of how are we going to um, format this in a way that will keep them not just engaged in that moment, but also coming back for more um, and also not just feel overwhelmed. Um, and so that was, um, that was a bit surprising at first. I didn't know what to expect going in, but I knew the information was gonna be really quality. Um, just the amount that we um, were designing for um, was a bit surprising at first. Um, but then the second surprising thing that was cool to me is that these tenants that we were learning um, as participants within the Brain Health Project are exactly the things that we aim to design for as user experience designers. And so when we were talking about strategy and reasoning um, and taking big concepts and synthesizing those, those are all things that we do in the design thinking process. And so that was really cool and surprising to see as well that we were actually using a lot of the same language um, from the clinicians talking about how they were educating participants and then how we were going about um, designing the platform. So that was cool. One of the most surprising things during that I've learned during the development of the platform is how accommodating this platform can be to transform what I did in person, paper and pencil, into something that can reach such a broad audience. And honestly, uh, I was very surprised. It translates so easily. We have participants who were able to do the very same things that we were, we were at one time were only convinced they could do in person. Mm -hmm. And now they can do it from anywhere on any device. Um, and we can get the same robust results. Mm -hmm.